So I wanted to show you how I go about learning for free using Google search. So basically, whatever you put in their search field shows up to you as a page search results, but it also has different categories that other people are searching on that are similar and include the key phrases. But what you didn't maybe know is that if you simply start to read, you don't have to click on anything. I can look around, I can see the number of results. I can see that I'm in all, these are other categories that I can sort by. So if I was shopping for something, I might click here. Or if I'm looking for an image about it, I would click here. And that is your um, filtering tools, right? So as I scroll down this page, looking for the answer, I begin to open up my mind and learn by what I'm reading. So this site, this information is based on what is in the SEO platform for that link. This is a page, Google's sharing the site, and it's also telling you if it's a sponsored ad or not. Looks like this might be under affiliate marketing, which the word affiliate is about affiliate marketing. So as I begin to look down here, I can simply read and read and read, and I can go on to the next page simply by scrolling down and reading. If you can imagine what you would learn just by reading these snippets of information, it's really quite powerful. So I go down all the way down to the bottom of the page. Here's some other search criteria that may or may not be exactly the same as what showed up before. But then I can click on page two and I can continue to read again. So what's happening is Google is sharing information based on the relevancy and the things on the first page on organic ranking are because people have used these keyword phrases inside their content. And you can see that it's highlighted. These are the words that are exactly up here. And that's how Google is searches sends that information back and makes it decide if it's relevant to my response or to my request. And I can continue to go down. I can continue to read these little snippets. And I have figured out that if you're looking to find out who the key players are, they're gonna be the ones that are paying money for an ad and they're gonna be showing up on the first page at the top and or at the bottom of the first page of a search cycle. Um, and then anybody else shows up in the, in the remaining pages. Now, something I figured out the other day was if I get over here into seven, eight, nine, and 10, Google's algorithm actually stopped feeding me information. And this is what it did. It said they didn't find any match. Well, of course they found match. It just told me there were millions of matches back here. Right? So there's 26 million matches under this category. So why is it not feeding me that information when I go to eight? It's because it wants to make sure, down here you'll see, in order to show you the most relevant results, we have omitted some entries very similar to the 210 that have already been displayed. So between eight and one, there are going to be 210 other responses. So if you like, you can repeat the search and omit the results. So if you really want to see what's on that page that it just truncated, you would click here. So I'm going to click here because I want to show you something. So now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file. This I'm in Chrome on a Mac and I'm going to say save page as. And what this does is it gives me my search at the top of the page and it, I, I actually put it in organize it uh, with the Google search at the front so that it's easier for me to see that it's a Google search doc. And I'm going to save that page. I'm going to put it in my One Funnel Away uh, folder because I'm doing the One Funnel Away 30-day challenge with Russell Brunson right now. And I'm telling you, it's fantastic. You should give it a try. But So this is what I came up with today um, in one of my assignments. And I realized that it's actually a really valuable lesson. And a lot of people don't realize that you can actually save your searches 
and it saves the page so that you can actually go back and look at uh, where am I here Google look up so there's my page now I have that information forever and those links work so I could click on this directly from my page um, and be taken to each link as long as the link stays live um, and so again out of the search parameter I no longer have to worry about um, Google stopping my activity all right that's all I got for you today I hope this was helpful and I look forward to 